so I recently received a new phishing email attempt. Now, normally when I get those, I just handle the situation on my own, but after researching the server that sent it to me, I realized it was a good teachable moment to sort of show you what a phishing email is or uh, to raise awareness on these types of attacks. A phishing email is where somebody pretends to be a legitimate service in order to harvest your credentials. Now, what's happening here is somebody is pretending to be Gmail and asking me to recover my password because apparently my account has been locked. But obviously this was sent from an individual attack server. If experience has taught me anything, it's that most of these attack servers are always misconfigured. For instance, this scammer accidentally indexed his entire server. Hacking a server is a lot like picking a lock. The smaller, cheaper ones are easier to pick, and the bigger ones are a lot stronger and harder. But what this guy did was basically like trying to pick a translucent lock. It's easy because you can see exactly how it works. Now looking at the server source code, there's two functions here. The first one is designed to lull you into a false sense of security. That basically lets you request a PIN and it sends that PIN to whatever phone number you provide using Twilio API. Twilio is a service for text messages or phone calls. After that, the second function lets you provide that fake PIN and uh, lets you provide uh, your old or basically your current password and a new password that you would like to reset it to for the purpose of unlocking your account. Click send on that, it actually takes that information, uses Twilio API to send it to the scammer's phone so that they can steal your passwords. Now I just wanna mention every single text message that gets sent from this account is costing the scammer 0 0.0075 cents. Now let's go ahead and go back to that first function. After the server sends you your initial pin, if you happen to reply to that text message, basically the server then goes ahead and replies to you with a brand new pin, which gave me the bright idea to put the server's phone number as the pin requester. And what happened there is that it basically started sending itself text messages because it's designed to reply no matter what with a brand new pin, which created an infinite loop of messages. So when I did this, I was actually at the airport and I had a flight to catch, so I let it run and by the time I landed, the phishing page was down, but the server was still up, so I checked the log and uh, it looks like it was able to send 84,266 text messages, which basically roughly translates to about $632. Um, a few days later, the entire server actually got shut down, so I don't know if the scammer packed up and went home or what, but uh, it makes me feel good to know that his little scam ended up costing him a pretty decent amount of money.